evaluate the numerical expression. So we have various numerical expressions with exponents. Let's go ahead and work through them. The first one is 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the negative 3. So because the bases are the same, the 10s are the same, what we can do is we can just add the exponents right away. So this is 10 to the negative 5, right? Because negative 2 plus negative 3 is negative 5. Then we can make the 5 positive by bringing the 10 downstairs. Remember, you can think of this as a fraction over 1. So when you bring it down, the exponent becomes positive. So we get 10 to the 5th. And so this is equal to 1 over. And there's a trick. Whenever you're raising 10 to any power, you just write the 1 down. And then because the exponent is 5, you just write down 5 zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That always works. If you had 10 to the 7, it'd be 1 and 7 zeros. If you have 10 squared, that's 100. So it's 1 and 2 zeros. 10 cubed is 1,000. That's 1 and 3 zeros. So you can always do that with 10s. You have 10 to a power, it's just the 1, and then the exponent is the number of zeros. So that's the first answer. Let's go ahead and do this one here. So this one is telling us we have 3 to the negative 1 over 2 to the negative 3. There's a couple ways of doing this. Uh, an easy way would be to use properties of exponents which say, if you have something like this, what you can do is you can raise each of these pieces to this power. So if you have, say, x to the m or if you have, say, x over y to the n, that's the same thing as x to the n over y to the n. So you just raise each piece to the negative 1 power. And the way you do that is you multiply. So you do negative 1 times negative 1. That gives you 1. So you get 3 to the 1. Then you do negative 1 times negative 3. That gives you 3. So you get 2 cubed. So you just get 3 over 8. That's probably the easiest way to do it. This one down here is a little bit harder. We'll start off by making sure the exponents are positive. So as before, what we do there is we bring the number down. So we write it as 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 2 cubed. And now to add these, we have to actually work out these numbers. So 3 squared is 9, and 2 cubed is 8. An easy way to find the LCD here is to multiply these numbers. 9 times 8 is 72. So we can do this. 1 over 9 times 8 over 8. Right? Multiply by 1 in a clever way. Plus 1 over 8 times 9 over 9. And we're doing this so that we get the same number on the bottom. Right? You can't add fractions unless the number is the same on the bottom. So this will be 8 over 72 plus 9 over 72. And now you can add straight across. 8 plus 9 is 17 over 72. So this takes a bit of practice to get good at, and I did go through that kind of fast. So we're trying to add uh, 1 ninth to 1 eighth. So the idea is you want the bottom to be the same. You want the bottom to be 72. Why? Because 9 times 8 is 72. Then you multiply this one by 8 over 8, which we did here. And that's really 1, so we're allowed to do that. And then you multiply this one by 9 over 9 which we did over here. And again, that's really 1, so we're allowed to do that. Then you multiply until so they're both 72 on the bottom, and then you can add. This one here, we're going to take a different approach. Um, whenever you have something to the negative 1 power, it's just 1 over that number. So you're basically just flipping it. So like if you had x to the negative 1, you would just get 1 over x. Okay. So if you have x over y to the negative 1, you just flip both. It's just y over x. That's the fastest way to do something like this, is you just flip it. So this will be 3 over 2 minus 4 over 3. And again, in this case, we want to subtract these. So what we can do is make the bottom a 6, because 2 times 3 is 6. So we'll multiply this one by 3 over 3, and this one by 2 over 2. And that will give us 9 over 6 minus 8 over 6, and then 9 minus 8 is 1, so we get 1 over 6. Pretty hardcore. So this problem was actually like not the easiest one. I picked some of the harder problems from a book I have. I picked like harder ones from this section. Um, and, and this trick here uh, is not typically something you see in, in books, but you can do that. It works. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who is trying to learn math. Good luck.